Hey guys, I'm Amy Pafraz. And I'm Justin Walters. And this is What's Good, the show that's dedicated to positive, uplifting stories from all across the world. Today we're talking about the largest GoFundMe campaign in my home state of Illinois. Nice. And a 10-year wedding anniversary that I guarantee will probably make you cry. Get those Kleenex out. It's all coming up on What's Good. We start off every show by talking about what's good in our own lives. Justin, what's going on with you? Well, Amy, you know I love to travel. Yes. And one of the coolest trips I went on was in Thailand where I went to the Lantern Festival and thousands of lanterns were released like paper in the night lanterns? sky. Yes. Oh, how it's called, beautiful. It's called Yi Ping and it's this traditional ceremony. And they actually do it in the Mojave Desert in outside of Las Vegas. When? A, a couple of years ago they started it. And I'm actually going to be going in a couple of weeks with my parents and I'm taking them. They've never done anything like this. So I'm so cool excited experience. to kind of give them this cool opportunity and experience to share with them. Oh, so how beautiful. Very excited. What a great yeah. way to travel with your family. Yeah, yes, I'm super excited. I can't so, wait to see the pictures. It's yeah, going to be gorgeous. Yeah, it's going to be good. So there's so much good news out there in the world. Yes. You know, we always hear the bad news. We but do. we want to share the good news. We so sift and find sift all the good it, stories. Amy, give us a good news And you know what? Story. This week there were a lot. There was so much happening. We had to narrow it down. This I heard on NPR while I was driving around. A good Samaritan named Joel Cervantes Matias. Okay. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I heard him talking on NPR about how he was driving in his Chicago neighborhood when he saw this man. Here's a photo of him. 89-year-old Fidencio Sanchez pushing an ice cream cart. So he decided to buy some ice cream. He gave the guy a 50, and he left. But he kept thinking about this man, 89 years old, pushing an ice uh. cream cart, working hard. I mean, that's not an easy job. In Chicago, it's hot selling ice cream. So he decided he wanted to do something more. So Joel created a GoFundMe page okay. with a goal of $3,000 for this guy and his wife who recently lost their only child. You're so they're heartbroken sad. and they're elderly. And so Joel posted this. The response was overwhelming. It was shared thousands of times. They have now raised over $300,000. 300000 $300,000 oh for gosh. this man and his wife. And Joel went and hunted him down and personally handed the money to him. So this guy can now rest easy. He can retire. And this is the largest sum of money on GoFundMe in the state of Illinois to date, correct? It's pretty fantastic, yeah. yeah. And um, it, I mean, it just touched so many people. And what I really responded to was Joel on NPR talking about this story. He said... The way that this caught on and the way so many people wanted to get involved and be a part of something good was a big reflection of what mm. he sees in the world. And he said, we just don't see that enough on the media or in the news. Hence why we're doing this, why we're this sitting why we here talking this. about this, because it's reflective of the community I see. I see people doing good things all the time. And we you're one of those people that influence people to do that. So I think it's awesome that you're 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 making this happen. Well, thank you, Justin. And yeah. you too. I mean, people definitely think of you as that kind of person that would Hopefully. lead the charge and, and be the first one to step up well, if somebody I'm going to lead you. the charge on a story that brought me to tears, okay? It is about a husband and wife duo, Carl Gilbertson and his wife Laura. They met 15 years ago in a Liverpool nightclub. And Unfortunately and sadly, his wife has MS, mm -hmm. and now she's in a wheelchair a couple years. It's progressed. Shortly after their honeymoon, she was in a wheelchair, had to give up her job, and it's progressed you yeah. know, further in the disease. So for their 10-year anniversary, he organized a flash mob chorus to sing Bruno Mars's Just the Way You Are for his wife. Take a look at this video. I don't, I don't know it, how you can watch that and not be moved me by it. It's like even just, it's, it's a teary-eyed video to watch because the amount of love that he must have for his wife. Yeah. And to, yes, the, but the song is amazing. Just of I course. love you just the, song the, by just, itself. just the way you are. Yeah. And here's someone who has dedicated his life to loving her and to loving their life together no Through matter what happens. Through thick and thin, sickness and in health. It is a All beautiful love story. A 10-year wedding year anniversary. Hopefully they celebrate a lot more to I come. I hope so. And just such a beautiful, touching story. Amy, when I watched it for the first time, I my shirt was soaked in tears. <laughs> it's a great, great video. I mean, that's that true, unconditional love. I think yeah. that everybody wants. Everybody and wants it. And it's beautiful and it's on display and you can watch it. We'll link it to you Just guys. It's the way you so are. wonderful. Yeah. So we love love. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to a wonderful story I saw shared on Facebook. I don't even know where this originated. We couldn't figure it out. But it's a little picture of a guy, a homeless man, 
And somebody posted this. A homeless veteran came into the dealership asking to shine salesman's shoes. He only charged $5 a pair. Each sales manager, there were three of them, and our GM gave him $100 each and mm. didn't ask for change. And then the service manager came out and asked if he wanted a job in detail. And then it says he starts tomorrow. Life lesson of the day, work hard. Where did you see this? My friend Andy, who is Andy Pagano, we went to different high schools but knew each other when we were teenagers. He okay. shares the most positive, amazing things. And he posted this. And I was like, Andy, where did this come yeah. from? He's like, I don't know. I just thought it was really badass. Hmm. And I was like, I am with you. The life lesson of the day, work hard. I actually think the life lesson of the day is give people a shot because that's, that's what happened. Good. The service manager decided to give this guy an opportunity. He was out there hustling, yeah. offering a service. And now he's got a full-time job in the service department at this car dealership. It's awesome. really going to turn this man's life around. So I think by by get, going out on a limb and giving yeah, this guy an opportunity, shot. give him a shot. Yeah. It's I wonderful. Like it. I like it. All right, our last story. Okay. There's a man named Dion Leonard who is an extreme marathon runner, and he is in the process of adopting a stray dog that he met during a 155-mile oh race God. through the Gobi Desert in China. Now, this story is crazy. This dog, it, on day two, started running beside <sighs> Leonard and ran by his side for 77 miles. The the runner would carry him over the rivers, wherever Aww. they go through the train. There's these photos, take a look at them. It is stunning. It's adorable, this dog. Now, why it's a crazy story is because he started a crowdfunding you know, campaign to raise 5,000 pounds it's gonna cost to get this dog from China to um, Scotland. And get the right um, shots and get it quarantined Yeah, they whatever. the right shots, quarantine, and it's a four month process that yeah, and then this dog is going to be a part of his life oh. forever. And the pictures and just watching the story and seeing it, it's it's a great dog story. It seems like We love a, a good dog story. We really love animals here. Yeah. And that seems like it can't be a coincidence. He's running in the desert and this animal comes out of nowhere and is like, I'm yours now. And the dog basically became kind of the mascot of the whole, the running crew, you know? Because so. it's just, nothing is by chance. And I'm going to tell you, I've run marathons before. And when you have somebody running with you, even if it's a stray dog, oh. that inspiration of somebody hopping into six miles with you. I had yeah. a friend who ran the last six miles of the LA Marathon with me when I didn't train at all. I just picked up and ran it. He gave me energy. Mike yeah, Bondi, you thank off you. Of that. Gave me the energy to keep going. And if you have that little dog running beside you, that's going to keep you going. Oh, absolutely. And, and good so for that dog. 77 miles yeah. for a little runty, you know, stray dog. That is an impressive dog. They hate kindred spirits. They I just like needed it. each other. They're yeah. on this journey called life together. We've got so much more good news coming your way right here on What's Good. Guys, I'm so excited to introduce you to one of my dear friends. She is hilarious. Please welcome actress, comedian, Shannon Bobo. Hello. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> Shannon, you look amazing today. Thank you. You're decked out in your stones. I have my you, hat got your, on. you got your hat on and your crystal. <laughs> Shannon's just an awesome human being. Tell us what you're up to these days. You're streaming with a mm -hmm. couple of different players. You can kind of watch her online at any time of the day spitting jokes you can mm -hmm. catch her in person so where can we find you because you're all over the place i'm all over the place right now i'm streaming on this place called sonicbox.com and then i'm soon to be serrano's and i literally just stream it's called the shannon bobo show and we just do <laughs> jokes and you know i talk about my crystals and i talk about life a lot about relationships yeah. so it's pretty exciting stuff and then um you guys can catch me on facebook and i'm always telling jokes and and live in person I have a couple of shows coming up too. So is your comedy based off of your personal experiences, your personal relationships, or Both. everything? Everything, yep. <laughs> I have some jokes in there about my family. I'm like, I understand this is the way I am and why I am the way I am. It's mostly due to like my family, my mom especially. So um, yeah, so I have some jokes about it. I'm like, don't mess me, don't make me mad because I will make a joke about you. <laughs> she will Taylor Swift you uh, in joke form and not yeah. song form. How do you get content to fill 30 hours a week? You are always uh, writing. I mean, that's a lot of material. A lot of it is just repeating, um, <laughs> you know, and I do- Sharpening your material. Sharpening my own material already. And then I also spin it from my life. Um, I've been going on a lot of dates, so that's all. <laughs> Amazing material. Yeah. What's the best material you've gotten on a recent date you've been on? The farter. This the guy. The farter. The silent bomber <laughs> oh, during our no! date. No. I was like, no, it's not the old lady next to me. We were at well, a movie. You don't know. It was definitely him. <laughs> no, because I was leaning over and it you was our old lady perfume. Her. But this way, it was. 
j- the dry farty farts. Oh, I was like, no. oh my god. So I think it was just nerves, you know, from him. But yeah, maybe you just need to carry some Beano. I think so. Oh, Beano more. Yeah, I think he may be <laughs> lactose intolerant. Poor oh, guy. Oh no. Okay, yeah. so it's safe to say there is no special guy it's right now. No You're special. Kiss a lot I'm of good. frogs. Yes. <laughs> but you know, I'm excited. They're good guys. They're just not for me. Yeah. That's what I'm noticing. There's not any bad guys out there. Shannon, you just have a beautiful perspective on life. She's a very spiritual person. Very. Talk about your love of crystals and things. Oh, of- I love crystals. <laughs> I'm wearing a um, citrine crystal right now with lapis lazuli and uh, amethyst crystal that I got when I was just in Nicaragua a month ago. So my crystals all have meanings and I get them from special places. And I usually, the citrine crystal I wear specifically because I'm my own business and it's the merchant stone and it represents um, wealth and prosperity. And every time I wear it, I'm like, okay, where's the money? (laughs) Come at me, I'm ready. The law of attraction. (laughs) Yep, that's what I do it for. Absolutely. All right, we are gonna keep Shannon on her toes right now. Is a segment I like to call 60 Second Silver Lining. Mm-hmm. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, this week's topic. Ryan Lochte was rushed by protesters as he made his Dancing with the Stars debut. Not good. We're going to find the silver lining in that story. 60 seconds are on the clock. Here we go. Ryan Lochte was rushed by protesters as he made his Dancing with the Stars debut. But the good news is the protesters started a trend with those homemade shirts. They were pretty cool. <laughs> no Lochte. Shannon's up. And the good news is he knows better than to ever wear that silver hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is the protesters got a day off from yelling at Trump. There you go. Okay, but the good news is everyone in America agrees he kind of deserved it. Ooh. <laughs> the good news is that we realized that he is quicker on his toes than we all thought because he was able to get away. Oh. There you go. Well, the good news is that Dancing with the Stars finally went viral. Oh, it's been like 26 seconds. <laughs> yeah, they needed seasons. something buzzworthy. <laughs> the good news is Al Roker can finally feel like justice was served for you, Al. <laughs> and the good news is we got all the attention off of the Zika virus, babies. Oh, uh, there we there go. There you go. I all think right. we thoroughly found the silver lining. But if you <laughs> think you can top those jokes, feel free to tweet them to us. We'd love to hear your punchlines. We have so much more What's Good coming right up. We'll be right back. Well, guys, of course, we love to share your good news, and we got so much of it posted to both of our Facebook and Twitter pages this week. So let's start sharing it. My friend Joshua Adam Carpenter said, finally have a loving family and pursuing what I love. And I love this because it's so simple. It's very basic. And my friend Pat Devereaux wrote, I think that one is the best one on this list. I think people really resonate with the simplicity of just loving your life and having good people around. And it is really fun when friends and family members and strangers write on our walls and tell us their good news. I love reading it. The best part of my life. Jen Melka said she just started playing in a volleyball league after a year of not being able to work out. Great girls, great sport, and having the best time. That's awesome. And Amiro has got to do it. Yeah, and there's nothing like being able to use your physique physicality again physicality physicality. (laughs) after you know maybe a setback or an injury so good good on you my friend elizabeth anderson hurst i qualified for the boston marathon and will get to run it in april with my dad a goal 15 years in the making congratulations that is incredible i ran the boston marathon bandit style when i was in college (laughs) it is so hard to qualify for the boston marathon see i didn't even know there was a qualification yes it is congratulations you have to qualify by running a different marathon and getting under a certain amount of time depending oh, wow. on wow so, so not everyone just can go run the can't Boston. just run the Boston. the new york can you uh, i'm not sure about new york okay but we'll get back we'll to, get back that. to but that but congrats that is awesome <laughs> well, daniel ryan board said had back surgery around two two and a half months ago and could barely walk afterwards almost healed up 100 percent and will be able to dance at my wedding in 12 days uh, what Oh my that, God, I read that. I was like, what? Oh. That is incredible. I'm going to add one more good news thing that these, we have some flies <laughs> around us. It got really humid here in LA, which doesn't have a lot. No, the that's okay. It means that out. rain is coming. So good, that's news. good news. Bye, flies. Bye. Shoe flies. Don't bother us. <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing your good news. We always love hearing it. Tweet us your good news. Share it on Facebook. And Spread good news to the people you love in your life. Yes, and please share this episode if you liked it. Maybe it'll resonate with someone in your life. We'll see you soon with some more What's Good. Bye.